Hey guys, we just got back to the hotel uh, from the first day of PAX South and um, it was pretty insane. We, let's see, what all did we do today? We got to, uh, oh, first thing we did when we got there, we found a gaming table for a production that we're thinking about starting up in the future and it's literally perfect for creating videos. We're, we're likely going to do that. I don't remember the name of the company. I've got their business card somewhere. But that's something that we're going to probably be doing in the future. Um, we checked out some stuff over in the VR area. Not a lot of impressive stuff. It's really just, you know, trying to get people to try it out. I guess they're still trying to expand the user base there. Um, let's see. What else did we do? We went to a panel. Uh, we went to a streaming panel. That was informative. There's a lot of stuff that's great about building your audience there. Uh, real, I guess it was really more about developing your audience further once you have a substantial off, uh, audience already. Just help better ways to help yourself grow. So stuff that doesn't apply to us at Interplayer Four yet. Uh, <laughs> Um, we did do the Jackbox thing. We were trying to get into a developer panel. Didn't work out. Uh, we did get to meet um, Ethan from Crank... I want to say it's Crankshaft Games. Crank Gameplays. I don't know what he calls himself. Oh my God. I think it's Crankshaft Games is the actual channel. He's a pretty cool dude. Like We got to see him actually a few times. And he was just doing as much as he could with fans as possible, which was really cool. Um, we also got to meet Bob and Wade, uh, Mindscrum and Lord Minion 777, if you don't know who they are, but, uh, it was mostly checking out, there's so many indie titles, holy crap, there were so many booths dedicated to nothing but indie games, it, it was, it was amazing, we found a few things that we want to try out on the channel, that we think will be a lot of fun. We did find um, a board game that we're potentially getting. We found a card game that's actually from the people over at Explosum. We'll probably be getting that. We might be able to show you that tomorrow. Because they have a, a set period of time where you can actually get the artists from Explosum to sign the, uh, the game itself. So we're going to try to get that. Tomorrow it's mostly... Trying to visit as many panels as we can. We have one that's... What is what is the one that you're wanting to go to? How to succeed in the game industry. Yeah. Try, how to succeed in the game industry. Or something along those lines. But we're, we're, um, we're yeah, looking forward to that. Character. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's, it's, it's got a dumb name. But it's, it's basically how to succeed in... Um, getting into the game industry. So that, that'll be pretty, pretty entertaining. We have a few other panels that we're thinking about going to. Some of them we know for a fact we will not be able to get into, unfortunately. Uh, I'd love to tell you more about those, but because of the people that are going to be involved and how early you have to get into some of those lines, uh, we won't be able to. But... That's it for the for our first day at PAX. Tomorrow's probably going to be really good. There's a lot of great stuff going on tomorrow. Hell, they sold out the Saturday show months ago, didn't they? Uh, a month like, or two ago, yeah. Like a month or two ago, yeah. They had sold out all for everything on Saturday, so it's going to be really packed. Um, we're going to try to get into this dungeon thing. It's like a real-life D&D experience and that's gonna be well, it's like a D, D escape the room okay a D, D escape room basically we're gonna try to get into that tomorrow uh first thing in the morning so should be able to give you some kind of information on what that's like so but but yeah that's the first day of pax um i'll sit i'll give you another upload tomorrow hopefully for what goes on on saturday hopefully i remember everything um but yeah See you next time.